What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about the IT prequel series. Welcome to Derry in this video here today. What I want to call it, IT Chapter 3. I guess as close as, as we'll get to IT Chapter 3 as it, as it currently stands with this upcoming TV show. This show was first reported earlier in the year back in March by the Ankler. And then we know other outlets like Variety started picking up on it. Bloody Disgusting. And at one point this show was thought to be dead because of the lack of news that was coming out i thought it was gonna end up just like this buffy revival that's now no longer gonna happen the degrassi show that's not gonna happen but we got a positive confirmation this week that this show is still moving forward because that merging between warner brothers and discovery has so many people worried that the hbo max uh ventures and several shows were going to be abandoned S some were i believe uh, not any i care about but some were the ones that i cared about such as pretty Liars original sin and this one are safe thankfully so we learned that this series will be moving forward after first hearing about it earlier this year now this wasn't confirmed in the reports from earlier in the year but the show is likely to be taking place according to variety in the 60s and will explore pennywise and the origins i'm assuming and the curse that haunts dairy maine every 27 years when pennywise returns uh, or when it returns this is likely going to also lead into the events of what take place during andrew muschietti's first two movies from 2017 it chapter one and 2019's it chapter two andrew muschietti will return to write and executive produce along with barbara muschietti and jason fuchs who has also been confirmed as one of the showrunners earlier this week that was the update we got that assured us that this series would still be moving forward jason fuchs will serve as one of the showrunners along with brad kane as the other co-showrunner no recent plot specifics were given in this report and we don't know who if anyone from the muschietti adaptation will be returning outside of muschietti himself the obvious expectation primarily right now is for bill skarsgård to hopefully be back as pennywise but that's not confirmed either i know that going into the 2017 adaptation some people were already turned off by the fact that it was not the same individual who portrayed pennywise in that miniseries from the 90s myself personally i was a little on the fence too but you know as as we move closer to release as we started seeing things surface from from the filming that was going on prior to the film releasing in 2017 and saw how Bill Skarsgård looked in the makeup and then upon seeing the film seeing how he made Pennywise his own unique thing if you're going to do more Andy adaptations people are going to want to see Bill Skarsgård in the role he's definitely someone they will want to see if you have to replace him then that's just how it will be I have faith that this will not be a Jeepers Creepers Reborn scenario where they are forced to replace the creeper and do not try their hardest to try to, you know, replace them with somebody who is, I would say, the best out there. Because with Jeepers Creepers Reborn, I know a lot of people, no shades to any of the cast and crew, it really seems like they just kind of went out there threw something together didn't really look that hard and just made a movie so i have faith that if bill is needing to be replaced that they will find someone who will give another suitable performance just like just like the individual who gave the performance prior to bill scars i can't think of his name tim curry uh prior to the bill it was tim curry so if he get re it gets replaced hopefully it's by someone who can give another suitable performance now i'm not sure how far long in the creative process this series actually is but during the same variety report where i got my harry potter tea from there was an interesting moment from the head of creative content at hbo max her name is aubrey she said that this show will be filled with demented scares now that's not much but it is something to think about if you're wondering how how much has been accomplished creatively since that march announcement so also, what we know is that early in the year, Stephen King seemed to reject participating in the upcoming show, but that can always change as time goes on. Whatever these demented scares are that Aubrey is referring to in this Variety interview, I'm just excited to see how they can stretch out this narrative for multiple seasons. You can accomplish so much in terms of character development in an episodic format. For those of you who listen to my reviews and just listen to my random videos talking about movie news and speculating and sharing theories sometimes, you know that I love character development as like a top five when it comes to whether something will be deemed good or bad with me uh in terms of just how you write the characters of course so if you can truly tap into pennywise's backstory in a way that satisfies fans who might have felt cheated out of what they did with the origins in it chapter two then that'll be a positive coming out of that welcome to dairy series if they truly want to tap into the origins hopefully it's done in a way that can satisfy anyone who might have felt they were cheated out of what could have been in that recent 2019 movie and of course the episodic route this tv show route that they are taking versus doing other movies is the most logical right now in my opinion 
And of course, you can say that not everyone wants to have this show happen, obviously. But fans like myself who have thought about a return of Andy's take on it and doing more adaptations with his vision in mind were mostly pointing out how they were to do that considering his first two movies, while they did leave a lot of stuff out of the novels, they basically kind of have covered everything else for the most part. So if you're already done there and you want to revisit his world, do a prequel. Touch on some of those things that you can see teased throughout his two adaptations from 2017 to 2019 and make them part of this prequel series, Welcome to Derry, if you're going to dive into the origins of Pennywise and it and the curse it has over Derry. Also, if I'm going to predict when this show debuts, I'm going to go with mid-2024 because 2024, just off of my, my own memory and just predicting, is already potentially going to be a big year for HBO and HBO Max. If they can have a Harry Potter show ready by then, that's just wishful thinking. That might take many years. <laughs> if they can have a Harry Potter show ready by then, that would be another hit they can drop early in the year. Also, 2024 is, ex is expected to be the return of Euphoria for season three. If they can somehow fix the writing mishaps from season two and get back on track with season three, Three and deliver something that rivals season one you have another hit there midway through the year and then between euphoria and the debut of walk on the dare you have several ips of original content that they can throw out there and kind of just build up this reputation that i know people already kind of have when it pertains to hbo max content over netflix and then for them to wrap it out in the same year in the fall with the debut of welcome to dairy which is also something that hopefully gets critical acclaim and a lot of attention that would be a solid year for hbo max especially after this merging with uh discovery i think that's ideally when they want to have the project out anyway sometime in 2024 and i do also recall in this interview Aubrey kind of talked about the show in a way that made it seem like this was a priority for them. So I hope that this show can run for maybe four seasons, max eight episodes each, let's say 10, 10 episodes each. Heck, let's say that too, because, uh, you know, seasons these days are a lot shorter than the 22 episode format that we were accustomed to. But hopefully, welcome to Derry when it debuts in 2024. That's my prediction. That's not confirmed. Hopefully, it's a hit. Hopefully, Bill Skarsgård is back. And hopefully, this prequel to those movies is something that can live up to what we have seen Andy do in that first movie. He's also being considered to direct the pilot episode. So hopefully, everything that they want to do with this show can work out and we'll get something great as it pertains to the return of Pennywise to the land of Derry. Man, but uh you guys can let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video